In the dissection of the rat, I just showed you some of the internal organs. So I've drawn a diagram on the board that will sort of show the, the way these organs are connected to one another to help you visualize them. So we'll start here with the esophagus coming in, and then you have the stomach. This side of the stomach is the greater curvature, that's where the spleen connects. And then over here, you would have the liver uh, on the side of the lesser curvature. Now, the constriction there between the two, that's where the pylorus is. The pancreas sits right in this area. So now we're in the small intestine. The first part of the small intestine is the duodenum. And remember that in all mammals, the way we recognize it is, you sort of follow it, it will always go posteriorly, and then it curves, starts moving anteriorly again, and when you have the next curve, that is the end of the duodenum. At that point, the small intestine becomes a section called the jejunum. Now, the jejunum is going to move along, it eventually becomes the ileum. Remember, this part is heavily coiled and really very long. But at some point, the ileum is going to come down to the large intestine. Now, where the ileum enters, it doesn't enter at the end of the large intestine. Instead, you've got the cecum going in one direction and the ascending colon going in the other direction. So there's a valve there called the ileocecal valve, and that you know, is, you know, functions very similar to the pylorus. So it controls the flow of food into the large intestine. The big sac is the cecum. Humans have one of these as well, but it's much smaller uh, than it is in the rat. And then you have the ascending colon goes anteriorly, and then there's the transverse colon going roughly perpendicular to the body axis, and then finally the descending colon, which heads down to the rectum and the anus. Um, I didn't show the gallbladder in the rat dissection because rats don't have a gallbladder. This is because they are continuous feeders. So as quickly as they produce bile, the bile goes into the small intestine to break, you know, to help emulsify fats. Um, we don't eat all the time. You know, we only maybe eat two or three meals a day. So we are not continuous feeders. We need a place to store bile. So we have a gallbladder very similar to the one you saw in the frog. Okay.